in 2001, I was involved in a road traffic accident in Paris. I was a pillion passenger on a motorbike. I think they operated on me for 16 hours trying to save my leg, but couldn't. And um, I had to have two further amputations, so that was quite scary. Well done. What really surprised me was that there are only actually 35 NHS specialist limb centres in the country, which is actually quite a small number, and it's a small number of patients. And so you start to get a feel for this is actually a really specialist area. Specialised services can be what we call highly specialised. Things like proton beam therapy, very innovative treatment for cancer, or something really cutting edge such as hand transplants. Or they might be more general specialised services which can be cardiac surgery or neurosurgery or elements of mental health care. How specialised services are both defined, where they're provided, and what elements of the services are improved is very much done on the basis of, of making sure it's done absolutely fairly. We need patients and the public to be involved in that discussion because they're the ones who can tell us when it's not fair and they are the best judge and they provide that best input when we're thinking about defining services. I now run a charity called Limpower and one of the things that I've learned is it's very easy to sit on the outside and criticise the system. But if you actually want to affect change, you need to be talking to the people who have the power to make the change. A couple of years ago, the NHS England decided to do a full prosthetic service review. And like with anything that NHS England do, they require that there are some patient involvement. And so I am the NHS patient on, the, on those committees. I'm a Commissioner of Mental Health Services. I work with a range of people, people who've either been an, a patient in services, they may be a family member, a carer, or even a friend of a person that's in a service. They are experts by experience, and it is so important to involve them because they will have a really different view, they'll have a different perspective. They'll suggest and recommend and make us think about things we wouldn't normally think about and that is so important to ensuring that you commission appropriately and then what's delivered will absolutely meet the needs of the individuals that we're, that we're aiming to commission services for. I think it's a huge challenge for, for patients to be part of these meetings and to, to sit and alongside you know, senior people and clinicians in making decisions but I think my reassurance is, is that we offer training and support to all our representatives and actually you know, our whole network of, of, of patients and the support we provide actually does enable people to have their voices heard. We have a good time working together as well, it's a pleasurable experience, it's probably the best part of my job. We definitely want more people involved in the work that we do. We want people involved who've perhaps never done this type of work before. They often provide a very different perspective from those who are regularly involved in this type of work. I had a procedure a few years ago and uh, it made a difference to my life and so I wanted to be able to give something back to the NHS. I'm a carrier of a rare metabolic disorder. I've lost one son to a rare metabolic disorder and I can see areas that are needed for change and so to have some way to influence that is, is going to be beneficial all round. My voice is appreciated, my input is sought out um, and I think I've gained the respect of my clinician colleagues so I'm, I feel you know pleased and proud about that. My suggestion would be give it a try. I'd say definitely do it because whether you've had a bad experience make it better, you've had a good experience, let's let everyone else have a good experience as well. If you're somebody who's passionate about you know, your particular subject, get, get some of that theory behind it, get some support from NHS England and go for it because your voice is incredibly important to encourage change. <laughs>